As humanity continues to dream of establishing settlements on the Moon and Mars, the importance of astronaut well-being in these harsh environments cannot be overstated. Designing and constructing habitats that prioritize the psychological health of those who will live in these extreme environments is essential for the success of long-duration missions and future colonization efforts. Innovative projects are underway to create protective and comfortable habitats on these celestial bodies. The Artemis Program's Lunar Gateway Project and Artemis Base Camp, for instance, aim to create innovative life support and communication systems, radiation shielding, and advanced life support systems, including regenerative technology, optimized for extended stays. Similarly, SpaceX's Starship prioritizes astronaut comfort with advanced heat shield technology and spacious crew transport, while the International Space Station is pivotal as a testing ground for advanced life support systems. However, in addition to addressing the physical challenges of life in space, we must also address the psychological toll of extraterrestrial living. Astronauts embark on missions spanning months or even years, far removed from the comforts of home and the familiarity of Earth's landscapes. The sense of isolation and confinement within the cosmic vacuum can profoundly affect an astronaut's mental health. As previous studies have shown, prolonged isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression in astronauts. Therefore, it is crucial to establish self-sustaining habitats that provide a quality of life akin to that on Earth. This not only entails replicating physical comforts but also fostering emotional connections and psychological support for long-term well-being and productivity. Danish architecture and engineering studio Saga Space Architects is a key player in redefining the concept of extraterrestrial living spaces. They have recently unveiled an underwater habitat mission tailored for astronaut training, which presents the perfect design challenge as it must replicate an artificially supplied, livable environment. The team sees this latest project as an opportunity to test protocol and safety training, as well as simulate microgravity and low-light scenarios. Additionally, Saga Space Architects have sent their first payload to the International Space Station, a new circadian lighting system. The lighting system aims to improve sleep quality for future space travelers bound for the moon and beyond which is a huge health issue for future astronauts on very long missions. In conclusion, innovative projects prioritize every aspect of astronaut comfort and hope to contribute significantly to the success of long-duration space missions and future colonization efforts on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Saga Space Architects' pioneering work in habitat design and astronaut training, including underwater simulations and circadian lighting systems, exemplifies this commitment. These endeavors signify not just comfortable living in space but also heralding a new era of space exploration, promising a brighter future beyond our home planet.